are talented, but brash. Remind you of anyone we know? Unfortunately. Round one, fight! Hello everyone and welcome back to another Mortal Kombat 11 augment build video. And today I want to go over my augment build for Cassie Cage, but it's a more instead of just an overall good augment build, I tried to go into a unique build using um, natural 20 and high and mighty and point of attack. So before I get into the video, all I want to do is ask you guys to hit that like button and subscribe because hitting that like button really, really does help me out and uh, if you know anybody who could find this video useful, make sure to share it with them because re that really helps them. It helps me out too. And if you would like to hit that red subscribe button uh, down below because when you are subscribed and you leave a uh, recommendation for a video down in the comment section below, I am more likely to do your video. So other than that, let's go ahead and hop right into this build and go over exactly what it does. All right, so the very first augment I have equipped in this Cassie Cage build is a level three brute strength. So it deals 37 0.5% more physical damage. So this is really good because a lot of Cassie's projectiles and actually most of her moves deal some type of physical damage, especially with the build that we'll be using, it's almost all physical damage. Next is a level three high and mighty. So my mighty attacks deal 60% more damage, but it requires a physical mighty effect, which I actually do have equipped later. I'll go over Jinsei's after I have uh, finished with the generic augments. Next is a level three point of attack. So this is the thing that gets lets us be able to trigger the 60 percent more damage so your physical attacks have a 30 percent chance to be mighty your mighty attacks deal 20 percent more damage and that was lets us activate the uh level three high and mighty and actually the brute strength also increases the damage overall all right next is natural 20 so this is makes my um my mighty attacks always trigger and not just give us a 30 percent chance it will activate 100 percent of the time however we don't have any gauges all right, next is the level three pumped up. I always like having some type of health bump and uh, it's because you can't deal much damage when you're dead and you won't be always being able to, uh, you know, what, sometimes the opponent will uh, get past you, teleport or block or something, and then you're actually quite open and you don't want to be able to get killed instantly just because you messed up one time. All right, next I have a level three bill of health. So this deals 75% more damage when you're at four health. And this is really good due to the fact that you obviously start the round at full health. And this is where you're able to get your crispy one hits, which you saw in the uh, starting clip of the video. So now for the Jinsei augments, let's go over them quickly. For next, I mean, first, first I have a level three family business. So this gives me armor when channeling cage energy, reducing my damage taken by 75%. Honestly, I literally have no idea what that means. Uh, I think it's anytime there's a green glow, but uh, if anybody knows, please leave that down in the comment section down below since I really would like to know. Next is uh, level three, take a knee. So add three extra shots to knee capping. Obviously with your high and mighty, obviously uh, every single shot, it will do like easy, like 40, 50% damage. Next is on the flip. So add four extra shots to flipping out. Obviously this is what lets you be able to get some really, really uh, high damage uh, and hit that one shot. For the abilities, obviously I use kneecapping and flipping out due to the fact that those are the Jinsei augments. And lastly, I use flying glow kick. This is just more of a personal re reference. I really like this moves. It's an armor break. So uh, yeah. For AI behavior, I use four grappling, four rush down, 30 combos, and 22 reversal. However, with this one shot build, you won't really be needing to use any type of AI. Other than that, let's go ahead and hop into Towers of Time and see how this build does. I respect a fellow soldier. That bondage gear is a uniform? This isn't my first tour. Round one, fight! Boom, that's right! Round two, fight! Finish him! Cage wins. Flawless victory. Shinnok was not yours to fight. Why weren't you on the front lines? 
I work in mysterious ways. Round one, fight! He just got ragdolled. Round two, fight. Finisher! Cassie Cage wins. Flawless victory. You're always getting me in trouble. You love trouble and you know it. Not as much as you do, sister. Round one, fight. How's being foobard feel? Round two, fight. 